everybody this is Joanna with Abstract Art Journal and today I'm going to show you how to make stamps and stencils to use in your art journaling or your acrylic paintings. So we'll start out with the, with the eraser. You can buy these at the dollar store or even the art store for a dollar or less. I'm going to go ahead and draw a fish because I really like... Okay so we've got a little fish and then I'm going to go ahead and take this. You can also buy this at your art store. It's got the different tips in it. But you just go ahead around your design. And you just have to go down a little bit, just enough so that uh, you'll be able to go ahead and have an indentation for your actual stamp. So we'll go ahead. I want to do this so you can see how fast this actually is. Okay, basically, we're done. Okay. And in the next video, I'll show you how to go ahead and put acrylic paint on your stamp and make really cute patterns. Okay, so basically, that's it. And there's all kinds of little... Um, different you know knife things I like this particular one there could be a, there might be uh, bigger ones I can show you that so the little end comes off and then you have your different different tops for that but you can get these at the art store um, and they're really great for making your little stamp so there's your stamp and then as far as making your own little stencils out of styrofoam, I buy these big sheets. You can get these at the art store or Walmart or anywhere. What you do is you pull off, there's paper on both sides, so you can just pull off the paper off of one side. And if it doesn't come off easily, you can put sponge it with water and then it'll come off. And so you get a styrofoam side. So what you do is you just take it, you take an ink pen and you just start drawing a design. Um, I like this type of design and you just draw with your ink pen. You have a design. You can make different all over. It's real easy to draw in. And sometimes if I want a bigger design I use the bottom of a paintbrush and enlarge the lines so that you can get a lot of paint in there. Maybe add another line or two but basically, you can draw with a pencil on this and then go ahead and go with your ink pen. But I just wanted to show you how fast you can actually do this. So that's your tutorial on how to make stencil, stencils and erasers to use in your art journaling. Okay, I hope you had fun watching and hope you have fun trying this out for yourself. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great art day.